I'm Yanir Baryam. Title and position. Professor and president of the New England Complex Systems Institute. Awesome. All right. So we got a lot of variants uh, that I'm hearing about. Actually, I hear a lot about the Delta variant. I'm just now starting to hear about the Lambda variant. Tell us what you know about that one. So the problem with the Lambda variant is it has some very unusual mutations. And it also has been growing very rapidly in Peru, enough so that it is dominant in the um, cases there and has spread to other parts of the world. It's been found in about 30 other countries. Uh, and because the sequencing is not being done in a lot of places, it's presumably also present in a lot of other places as well. Um, but the main thing is that it, in order for it to become dominant, it really has to be uh, more rapidly spreading than the original variant. And with the Delta growing so rapidly around the world, uh, it's becoming a concern that maybe it will be even faster than the Delta in terms of spreading. Uh, but even if it was just comparable with the Delta variant, there are other qualities that are important like its severity and the, the death rate now in Peru is very high. Um, and the fact that there is a different set of mutations uh, in this variant also continues to raise concern about how the vaccines will be able to stop variants. And, um, and, and again, part of the challenge here is we keep focusing on this variant and that variant. And, and when we have all of these variants, we should know by now that if it's not this variant, it's gonna be another one that's gonna really raise the bar even further in terms of uh, the danger to people uh, and the difficulty in stopping it from spreading. So it kind of sounds scary uh, as we are having vaccination efforts across the country. Does that help? Does the vaccine help against the Lambda variant? What do people need to know? So in the meantime, vaccinations are helpful in stopping uh, all of the variants that we know about. That doesn't mean that there won't be another variant that will not be a complete escape from the uh, vaccines. But in the meantime, they're still powerful tools, though against the Delta variant, the one that originated in India, uh, we already have a significant reduction in the effectiveness against that variant. And that's one of the reasons that Delta is growing around the world, that not only is it incredibly rapidly spreading, uh, um, well over twice as fast or as twice as easy to spread as the original uh, um, variant. Um, and so now we have the situation that we have more rapidly spreading, which means that it spreads among people who have not been vaccinated, but also it reduces the effectiveness uh, of the vaccines. So there are more cases that are breakthrough cases among people who are vaccinated. Uh, and, and remember, even against the original variant, the best vaccines, they stop 90 to 95 percent. So it's a reduction of risk by about 10 to 20, which still means that if people change their behavior, that goes up. Right. So what, what goes up is the risk of being infected. Uh, and so uh, we have this kind of um, perception that. Um, that if we are uh, protected by the vaccines, that our behavior change doesn't matter, but it does. And many people are getting infected that have been doubly vaccinated and cases can become severe and people can be hospitalized and, and there are deaths. And, and, and of course, even without the severe cases and deaths, the mild cases can give rise to long COVID. Um, and there are new studies about brain damage that are being released that are, 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 you know, again, I mean, this is not a mild disease and we should be doing everything that we can to get the cases down uh, and, to, and to stop this pandemic. So what's your advice to people out there? What, what can we do to protect ourselves? Is there anything we can do to protect ourselves? So, so what we should be doing is using the vaccines along with the other tried and true methods for stopping transmission. And that includes 
you know, wearing masks, surely indoors. The Delta variant, people have seen cases that you just walk by someone on the street and you get infected. Um, so it's much more easily transmitting. And so we have to be more careful. Um, so wearing masks is key. And then other precautions are, are, are definitely worth taking, including not going out unless you have to, um, and so on. Uh, and, and again, part of the problem is that we've developed this attitude that, you know, if things are going kind of okay, then maybe we can do normal behavior. But, you know, the right thing to do is to just get the cases down so low that it doesn't matter anymore that the disease is around. Uh, and then we can open up and do the normal things. But every time we open up too soon, uh, we end up getting another surge in cases. And that's just been and continues to be the wrong way to do things for a pandemic. The Lambda variant is the latest in a string of variants that are making things much more difficult for us to control the disease. Many of them are more severe, and that's and, and part of that is because they infect quicker and they, they burn through your lungs faster. And, and the other is that it can be more severe for children. Um, they can uh, evade the vaccines. So we really want to prevent ourselves from getting these variants in the first place. And, and we need to take that seriously and start uh, raising noise that our politicians have got to take this seriously enough so that we don't have to deal with this for years and instead we can stop it uh, and, and go back to really normal life and normal economy. Let me ask you this, a photographer brought up a point and I think you mentioned it too. Is the Lambda variant resistant to the vaccine? Or is the Lambda variant has not been evaluated in a country that has enough testing in order to compare. So we don't know how, how uh, evading it is of the vaccines, but the mutations that it have are surely concerning. And, and so now we have to do the science, but the bottom line is the longer we wait, the more there are going to be vaccine evading variants. And the Lambda shows that there are other ways that the virus can mutate that can also be more severe and more rapidly spreading. And that the, even the, the types of mutations that we can have can be different than the mutations that are present in the variants that we've been looking at until now. What should be done on a legislative level in this country to help protect us better? So the first thing is we've got to reinstate mask wearing indoors. LA has already done that. The CDC has made a, a basic mistake in evaluating the risks to individuals and to all of us together. And we really think that we need to reverse their recommendations and make sure that everyone is wearing a mask so that they don't get infected. And then the next thing that we need to do is just to, to, to be honest with ourselves about what it will take to stop this pandemic. And right now that's not being done. So if we are honest with ourselves and we say, hey, enough of this, if we're tired about COVID, the way to stop it is uh, to get out of the pandemic and not to just pretend that it's not there because that's just hurting everyone. And if people get infected over and over again by this disease, there is no doubt that there's going to be increasing damage and harm and, and, and lots of long-term effects. I think, you know, we've got to revisit this, you know, strategy that we're using and, and, and to go in a different direction. That's the most important thing.